What is up YouTube? It is Ricky and we are back on Destiny and to be more specific, we're back on the Dreadnought. I want to show you guys how to summon Ekthar, the Sword of Oryx, on patrol. Now, uh, as you can see, I spawn in right by the hull breach. I like to go pretty much straight ahead through the little trench in between the ship and the Dreadnought. Uh, that'll bring you to the mausoleum. And you just run through here. Uh, this is where it's going to start to look pretty familiar. It looks just like the Sunless Cell Strike because we are headed just that way. So you go through this far right corridor, just like you do when you're doing the strike. And uh, you'll come to the founts. And this is where it's going to be a little, uh, little more tricky. Uh, I switched to Gunslinger uh, because I'm going to need uh, a better super than Arcblade or Night Stalker. Uh, I recommend Gunslinger for Hunters, uh, Voidwalker, or Stormcaller wouldn't be bad. For Warlocks and uh, Striker, maybe not Striker Titan, it'll be hard to group them up. Or Hammer of Soul for Titans would be ideal. Because once we get to the founts and we clear out this room, there's some Warden Knights here. And the Warden Knights you have to kill in a very specific way. You have to kill all three with a single super. Um, so a super where you can walk around and kill shit with is ideal. Uh, what I did is I weakened them up with my Omelon hand cannon here. Uh, got them really low and then I popped my golden gun. I wasn't sure if tethering them and killing them in the tether would have worked as my night stalker. So I figured I would play it safe and kill all these bros with a single super. And as you can see almost immediately after that happens, the door pops right open. Uh, now, you just have to run through the hallway and get there, but we're going to go to the Asylum, I believe it's called, and there's going to be a bunch of enemies there that you'll have to kill. They're pretty high level. Um, I'm around light level 290, so it wasn't too bad for me. Uh, if you're lower than that, it might kind of suck, <laughs> but you should be around 280 because you had to get your sword 280 to get to this quest. Uh, but here's all the enemies, and they're kind of a pain to clear out a little bit. Uh, there's wizards, there's weird little cursed thralls called like dreg dredge explorers or some shit. I don't know. They're really goofy. Uh, but yeah, full of acolytes, I highly recommend killing as many enemies as possible. Uh, because when Ekthar comes out, uh, you're going to have to use your sword on him. And you don't want things shooting you when you're in a damn sword fight. <laughs> That's just too much to handle. There's a little dredge explorer. <laughs> but I also read that people said that you could only damage him with your sword. Uh, that's not the case whatsoever. Uh, his shield is immune to damage, and you can only drop his shield with your sword. And people thought you had to sword fight him when his shield was down. You can actually just drop a shield with a sword and like switch to a shotgun and it is way easier than trying to go toe to toe with a big creepy badass hive knight dude. <laughs> oh. uh, unfortunately though after doing this uh, you'll talk to Shax and have one or two more steps to go for your exotic sword and then it won't come until the next arms day. Uh, <laughs> So if you are suck at waiting like myself, uh, you could try to time it closer to a Wednesday, unlike me where I'm going to have to wait like a damn week now. Uh, but here's Ekthar, the Sword of Oryx. Uh, I'm going to dip out and I'll let you guys enjoy the fight. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.